Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the movie Polar Express. We are in December now. I'm starting to break into the uh, the Christmas movies, I guess. And I actually did watch this a few weeks ago, but I just haven't really got around to talking about it yet. I really just saw it and I'm like, you know what? I haven't watched this since I was a kid. So why not check it out now, especially with Christmas coming up? First things first, if you haven't heard about this movie, it's basically about a magical fucking train called the Polar Express, and it kidnaps children and takes them to the North Pole. I'm joking about the kidnap part, but the entire thing kind of does feel a little bit weird. I know it's supposed to have this magic and shit of Christmas, but I gotta be honest, the way that this whole thing sets up, it feels a little bit uh, weird. Like if Tom Hanks' character in this movie, or characters in this movie, happened to be voiced by Kevin Spacey, oh, this movie would have aged horribly. I know I cannot be the only one that wanted to literally punch this kid directly in the fucking nose. This is the villain of the movie. This little douchebag. Fuck this kid. Joking aside, I actually had a really good time with this movie. I wasn't sure. You know, I mean, this is a movie that came out, I believe, in 2004 or 5, so I was like 4 or 5 years old. So it was constantly on, and of course, it was like kind of a new animation style with the CG at the time. From what I understand, you know, at the time being pretty goddamn new and like innovative, so that was kind of interesting. There really wasn't a movie that looked like that, and to be honest, even now, there's not very many movies movies that have the feel of Polar Express. So I gotta give credit there, even though I do find some of it, like, mainly like some of the character designs a little bit creepy. Now I mentioned Tom Hanks, but I really have to give him props, because I swear to god he voices like eight fucking characters in this movie, and he just goes all out. I guess if I were to really have any sort of issue with this movie, it's just that there, there was times where I was kind of bored, I can't lie, there are times where it is kind of slow, but also there's like scenes where they're singing and shit, and that's not really my jam necessarily, so I kind of like tuned out a little bit, may have check my fantasy lineup but you know you gotta do what you gotta do man i mean you gotta make the playoffs in this bitch but anyway polar express was a good uh i guess just straight up christmas movie to bust my cherry on for 2023 it was fun going back to it again even though you know i don't really think that even as a kid i didn't really love it and even now i don't love it but it's a good solid movie and you know the entire ending is actually really good and i like all that i like the way the movie you know finishes up pacing can be uneven but overall it's a pretty pretty good movie i wouldn't give it like a super strong recommendation or nothing but if you're looking for a pretty solid or decent you know christmas movie i think this is a good one to add to either a marathon or just watch you know in general with that being said though guys that's going to go ahead and do it so i hope you enjoyed be sure to let me know what you thought and i'll catch you later peace